Alright, so what I want to do in this video is introduce our first qualitative method for analyzing solutions of differential equations, which is called slow field analysis. So the idea of qualitative methods is to get a better understanding of what the solutions look like without first solving the differential equation. Now I'm going to do the example of our uh, favorite differential equation, so in that case we could use separation of variables to get the solution. Then the slope field analysis can be done in a much more general setting of first order differential equations where you cannot use separation of variables. Okay, so let's go back to our equation. So our equation was dy dx is equal to constant times y. So for the purpose of doing slope field analysis, I'm going to fix the constant. So I'll take it to be 1, but you could do it for any other choice of constants. Okay, and then the idea of slope field analysis is to really understand uh, what the differential equation is saying here. So what is it saying? So pick a point, your favorite point, a, b, in the x, y plane. What is the differential equation saying? What the left-hand side is uh, saying is that the slope of the tangent line to a solution at this point should be equal, and then the right-hand side is saying that the slope should be equal to the y-coordinate of that point, which in this case would be just b. Right. So if you have a more general equation, then your right-hand side will be different. But the equation really is relating the slope of the tangent line to solutions to some particular function of a and b. Okay, so the idea of slope field analysis is to take that now and use this knowledge to get a better understanding of what the solutions will look like. So let me draw the xy plane here. So the idea is the following. So I'm going to pick some random points. So let's pick uh, the point 0, 0 to start with, the origin. What the statement of the differential equation is saying is that the slope of the tangent line to solutions at 0, 0 should be equal to the y-coordinate of that point, which is 0. So this should be 0. So this should be horizontal line. So the tangent line here will be horizontal. So I'm going to draw a little line segment here just to remind me that the tangent line of solutions at this point will be horizontal. If I pick the point 1, 0, well, I get the same thing because it has the same y-coordinate as being 0. So it's still going to be horizontal. Same thing for all the points here on the x-axis. So I'm drawing little line segments to remind me tangent lines at these points will be horizontal. Now if I pick the point x equals to 0, y equals 1, statement here is that the slope of the tangent line at this point will be 1. So this is a 45 degree slope. And I get the same thing for all points here with y coordinate 1. And if I go to 0, 2, then the slope is 2, which is uh, bigger than 45 degrees. So I get something like this. And so on for all the points with y coordinate 2. And if I go on the negative side, so 0 minus 1 will have slope minus 1, which is 45 degree, but downwards. Get something like this for the points here, and so on. So what I'm drawing here is what is called a slope field. Right. So this is a whole bunch of line segments that tells me that tell me what the slope of a solution should look like, and that gives me a good behavior of solutions. So now you see that the solutions, wherever they go, should somehow go like this, right? Because they're following. This gives me the, the, the direction of the solution because it gives me the orientation of the tangent lines. On the negative side, they should go like this. And if I give you some initial value, for example, suppose that you're given the initial value that, say, y at x equals to 0 is equal to, I don't know, 1, for example. So initial value really is choosing a point in the xy point uh, that the solution will go through. So that's why it's fix fixing a particular solution. So now I'm requiring that my solution should go through the point x equals 1 and y equals 0, which is this point. So if you're given an initial value, then you can sketch what the solution should look like just by following the slope field. So you see I'll get something like that. Now, of course, here you can recognize that this solution is just the exponential solution. But suppose that we didn't know, we hadn't found the solution first, we could still sketch the graph of the solution just by looking at the slow field, just drawing the slow field and then just look, looking at what the solution should look like. So the slope field analysis is a very powerful method and it's really nice to do that first before you solve an equation to have an idea of what you're trying to find. 
Okay, so let me try to summarize uh, the slope field analysis in the more general setting of first order differential equation. So, slope field analysis is a qualitative approach to understand the behavior of solutions, first order differential equations, without having to solve them. And the idea is the following Suppose you're given a differential equation dy dx is equal to a function of x and y. This could be arbitrary function here. Now, the idea is to use the or to really understand what the differential equation is saying. So what it is saying is that the left-hand side is saying that the slope of the tangent line to a solution at a point a, b is equal to the value of the function f, capital F, at the point a, b. In our case, the function was just y, so that was just the y coordinate. In general, this will be more complicated, but we can still extract what the slopes are at arbitrary points just by using the equation here. So the idea of the slope field analysis is just to draw a whole bunch of little line segments at a bunch of random points where you're just calculating what the slopes should be according to the differential equations. And then this whole bunch of line segments all together create uh, the slope field and it gives you a very, very good idea of what the solutions should look like. And if you have an initial condition, then you can pick a particular point on the xy plane that your solution should go through and you can kind of sketch the graph of the solution just using the slope uh, lines.